guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Again, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching more videos. If you're new, maybe you'll subscribe if you like some of the snakes. And I've just been in the room cleaning almost all day, socializing with some of the animals, trying to get some time in with Burmese and uh, Pop-Tart. So she is almost three years old. She's looking really nice tonight really mellow um, and just trying to spend some time with her uh, as much as I can along with a lot of the other snakes with the boas and the ball pythons I'm really not too worried about a lot of a lot of uh, socializing with them because they don't get that big and they really don't have any issues as adults I mean some of the boas can be a little feisty and bite and stuff like that but uh, when they get adult size, they really don't pose a true threat to, well, me or us, like the Burmese or an anaconda will. So I know we get to see her a lot. I know some of you guys don't like anacondas. So, um, sorry, you, you get to see her uh, once again. And I'll just hang out with her for a little bit. I'll show you guys some of the boas. I know some of you guys like the uh, the moon glows and the IMG stuff, so we'll just jump into that really fast. And a lot of people, uh, you know, posting stuff on, on on social media, on various places. People, and I say this a lot, but I think it needs to be said. And it's not just me saying it. You can look at um, full adults from from Kevin at Nerd or Megan or uh, other people who actually breed anacondas and they a lot of them even though they are breeders they do keep them in you know eight foot cages and they don't have swimming pools for them and they don't have um, these massive enclosures uh, and, and they do just fine I'm not saying that's good or bad I'm not here to judge anybody I mean obviously the bigger the enclosure the better as humans we enjoy that I don't really know if a lot of these snakes enjoy that but anything we give them is better than their natural environments. Because uh, there's no diseases, there's no parasites. There's nothing that's going to eat them. Uh, but they don't get massive. They don't get gigantic like all of these, um, you know, stories and stuff like that. And they're just really calm. Um, they can be calm. I've, I've seen some anacondas that are not very nice. But you got to put your time into any snake or any reptile that you want to have to be a good keeping snake in the future. So, um, you know, when I say they don't get massive, they, they, they're smaller than, smaller than retics. I would say fed properly, they would be, uh, the same size as, uh, I would say basically just like berms. You know, they get 15, 16 feet. They get over 100 pounds, just like berms. Both of them like water. But, uh, you know, they do have their differences. But nothing ridiculous. So, I really want to put her down, but I don't know if I trust her. Because she likes to go in the back of the cage. And then she likes to stay there forever. So, it's kind of hard to move her around with one hand. And... We'll see what happens when I put her in here. So will probably come straight back out. Gorgeous snake though, even though all the anacondas pretty much look the same. Green with black circles and really cool yellowish bellies. So she left me a nice present almost every day, multiple times a week. That is the one negative that I will say about anacondas so far um, at her size is that uh, changing out water dishes consistently. So I had the joy of cleaning and redoing a lot of these uh, cages. Now, now I'm probably gonna get some negativity on here. I went through here and I cleaned everything and I started to realize that um, having Repti Chip is nice 
in all, it looks nice. Now some of these I am keeping bedding in, the, the ones that do need the, uh, the higher humidity. So after cleaning out all these tubs, I realized that I, I'm not very good at cleaning and I'm not very good at spot cleaning either. So um, dumping all of these, I noticed that through the bedding and on the bottom, there was some urine and some poop that was uh, kind of stuck to the bottom of these plastic tubs. And I'll admit it, um, I didn't do the best job at cleaning them um, and siphoning through the Repti chip. You know, I just did the I just did the quick shuffle stuff around real quick, pick out the big pieces and there's, there's big pieces of poop or pee that I saw, and then threw that away. And unfortunately, um, you know, I, I missed a lot of this stuff because of the, I don't even know if I should say it's because of the bedding, but because I would come in here, you know, fill up the water dishes, do quick, uh, spread stuff around to see if there's any poop. I, I missed a lot. So, uh, I know, shame on me. So, talk to a lot of people that use uh, paper or paper towels. So I got a roll of this and it's 180 feet 18 inches across and it's like five bucks so it's cheaper than paper towels will it last as long probably not i'll probably have to change this out at least once or twice a week but the water dish just kind of sucks so i i put down some paper towels and then i just laid this down and then i cut a hole through it now i know they do make special inserts for this i don't I don't know the pricing, I really haven't looked into it, but somebody on Instagram did tell me that. And I was getting kind of beat up a little bit on Instagram, uh, saying that it's unnatural, but but <clears throat> come on. I mean, realistically, everything we do for a snake is not natural. Like we give them 100% better lives in captivity than we do in the wild. Um, somebody said we don't give them the enrichment or the natural feeling, it's like, well, how natural do you want to go? I mean, we keep them with no parasites, food once a week, no predators, um, you know, controlled controlled climate and stuff like that. So, uh, and then I had a lot of good responses. I heard a lot of people, mostly breeders, um, keep them on paper. It's easier. It's more sanitary. You can see the messes. Um, no impaction on the bedding, and. You know, a lot of people are 100% for it. So let's check out some snakes. I know I've been rambling on and on. So uh, IMG, Motley, uh, Hypo, and Jungle, or Possible Jungle. And I do believe it is the Jungle, though. So it is 100% het for snow, which is awesome. So because it has the albino and the anery, the hets, and then it has a visual Hypo, possibly if I were to breed this, Depending on what I put with it, I would have to put the male snow with it. I could get IMG moon glows and IMG snows and IMG a whole bunch of other stuff. Really cool combos with that. So the snow is a albino and uh, and the anery. So really cool stuff. Awesome markings on her. I love snows. And then we'll take the uh, the moon glow right here, which she's a little bit older. This girl, I don't know what I like better. I don't know if I like the moons or the snows better, but I do like the eyes on the moon glows. They're a lot nicer. So this is the exact same thing as a snow, except it has the hypo added to it. And so it gives it the more definition on the saddles, on the patterns, and on the, uh, the tail. So. What's interesting is that the moon glows, from what I've seen as adults, they go mostly white. And then on the snows, they get a very vibrant yellow, and then their saddles and their tails stay uh, pretty white. So it's a really cool combination. Um, as both of them grow up, they do change colors, which is awesome to see. And then uh, this dude right here is a male. It's an orange dream, uh, enchi, leopard, and a pied. Really cool combination, really cool colors. And um, hopefully next year this dude's ready to go. They only need to be 500 grams, but I don't really pump them full of food, so it might take him a year. And then I have a year on my other female ball pythons. 
uh, that are pied, so um, we'll just have to see what happens. No promises on anything. This girl's looking really good. Ate very well. It's a jungle hypo pastel, and she had a big meal. Passed it, no problems. I know I made a video a couple days ago about giving these girls some very large meals, and they're actually doing really well. She still has a lump right here, but she's doing well. Um, I moved her very, very calmly into a, another bin up there so I could change out her stuff and then put her back and she has not regurgitated at all. No problems. Um, so the VPI Aztec, I still have her on bedding. I'm probably gonna keep her on bedding for a while because she's extremely feisty and she throws an attitude which most of us know if you've been around on the channel. And uh, she, likes to, she likes to burrow herself. So maybe that's her comfort thing and I need to clean her water out. So I'm okay with that. I don't want her to be less stressed or I don't, I don't want her to be more stressed and being kind of out in the open a little bit. Some of these snakes are in shed, which is awesome. Some of these uh, tubs are gonna got flipped around a little bit, but this girl looks really, really nice as well. And I do have hides from Amazon on the way. They are on sale. So I'm just gonna put some hides in here so they can feel a little bit more comfort, or at least when they're smaller. Uh, so there's really no issues with, with, the, with the babies, but this girl is very, very nice. You can definitely see the, the VPI in her and definitely the jungle. So, uh, I guess we can see one more. Let's, let's look at the Guyana, the red tail. So, after more research, I have found that, and from you guys telling me, but the, the true red tails um, do like to have higher humidity. So somewhat with the humidity issues on the cage and the rack system, I'm just gonna leave the bedding in there and then I'm just gonna, be, I'm just gonna soak the bedding every couple of days. But her tail looks, focuses, Looks amazing, super blood red, really nice high white, and just looks really, really nice. So, gorgeous snake. She took that big meal, no problems. So I'm really thinking, uh, I'll push her meals out to maybe two weeks, and then I'll just feed her uh, weans and see how that goes. So, she definitely does not want to go back in there. And some, and I mean, all the snakes are doing very well. So, there's a 2016 the Suriname. She's doing well. She's eating small rats very, very well. She has a, she has a huge head on her for like the size of her body, which is, which is kind of interesting because normally they have a smaller head compared to their body, but that's a, that's a pretty, that's a good size head uh, compared to her neck. So, another really nice uh, locality snake, and that is it on one of the updates. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to keep the snakes as healthy as I can, and uh, still, I mean, I gotta do better on the cleaning, obviously. And just waiting for a lot of these snakes to grow up and try to breed, so. I really am contemplating about breeding the ball pythons, because they're the, the only ones that are, will be ready next year. Um, I would assume they'd be ready because a lot of them are up near 700 grams at a year old. And then at the two year mark, they should be well, they should be well over 1500 grams or so. I, I, would, I would think if they eat the way that they're eating now, I should have no problems. It just gets me really kind of, you know, nervous on breeding because so many bad things happen. And it's expensive, and then when nobody buys your snakes, you're stuck with them, and you gotta feed all of them, and then you gotta get all the cages. And it definitely is a, uh, it seems like it's a long road, but we'll see what happens. And I still, have a, I still have a long time even before getting ready or prepared for that. And I don't even have that many snakes, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So 
I appreciate the supports. Um, thank you guys for coming back and watching videos. I know I've said that, but uh, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me that you guys like the snakes and you guys don't mind uh, me rambling on about them and learning about them. I appreciate you guys helping me out on that journey. Uh, I think the next video we should uh, take out and I'm going to go, uh, I need to clean that because she's in her water. So that's gross. We'll take out some of the bigger snakes. We'll take out the Burmese. Uh, I need to feed the Burmese. So I'm feeding her small rats. So that, that's exciting. She's moving up, growing, and then we'll just look at a bunch of other, the other animals. So that's it, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys on the next video.